Now once you have this, you're going to insert keyframes at 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, all the way up to 180. As a reminder, this is what you're doing. You're inserting keyframes. You touch the top frame uh, at 30, the top layer at 30, and then you move the mouse down. Don't press down on it. Just move it down to the bottom layer. Hold the shift key down and click. You go up to insert, timeline, keyframe. All right. Do the same thing all the way up to 180. Now that all the keyframes are in place, you are ready to animate. Next, you're going to lock down, the la lock all layers. I'm clicking this lock at the top. And before we go any further, we're going to save it. You go to File to Save. If this is your first time, you can go to Save or Save As. Let's go to Save As. Only do Save As one time. And title this as Navigate to Your Folder. Now, for those of you in Graphic Design too, you should have a portrait folder already created when you did your Illustrator file. You select your portrait folder and at the top you save it as you have to name it name it as portrait underscore your last name you put an underscore behind your last name I'll just put a two behind mine then you click save Now, if you're in my 2D concept class, you have to save, save it as exercise three, underscore your last name. M create a new folder first called exercise three. That's for the 2D concept class. Now, back to the assignment. In your layer palette, go to the eyelash layer and go to, go to frame 20 and click that frame. Just select it. Frame 20. Now also go back to the layer pad and click on the lock to unlock that, that layer. Now at frame 20, you have it selected. And we're going to uh, select, go in the tool palette and select your, your, your uh, zoom tool. We're going to zoom into the eyelash layer. We're going to zoom in. And... Select your free transform tool out the tool palette. All right, and go back to select frame 20 of the eyelash layer. All right, now just simply close that. Close that by squeezing towards the center. And now go back to the layer palette and put a lock on the eyelash layer and unlock the eyeball layer. Let's go to the eyeball layer, select it. Unlock the eyeball layer. Now, let's move and select frame 20 on the eyeball layer. Frame 20. And just close that up as well. All right? And just use your arrow keys to position it. Or you can tilt it if you have to with this, this uh, rotate tool. All right, if you have to do that. Now, when you take the marker, the red marker, and you stroll back and forth, you'll see what happens. Stroll, strolling back and forth, strubbing back and forth. That's what is going to happen when this marker plays over certain sections that you changed. All right. Now you, if you, um, now at this point, I want you to pick certain areas, certain frames to make your eyeballs and your eyelashes appear to be closing and opening. Do not make it that every 40, every 60, you can be um, uh, pick various points, but not to the point where it makes a rhythm or a pat pattern, just unexpected points where you will blink. So you will blink. So you can also make the eyeballs turn right to left as well in certain points. Now that I have my eyeballs and eyelashes appear to, be, to appear to close at certain points, I'm gonna shrink this down a little so that you can see, and then I'm gonna strub through it. 
scrub through it. See, you can see the eyes blink at certain points. If you lock the layer, the eyeball and the eyelash layer, you can actually hit hit the control panel to make it play, and it'll play through. You see the eyes blink at certain points. Now you can also make the eyes move. over a little bit to make the eyes move. And at this point you also can uh, make your eyebrows move a little bit at certain points and after this make your write your script what you're going to say so that we can go to the next step. So stop right here, write your script. The script should only be 15 seconds or less.